Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I wanted to talk about water today for our gardens. So I'm trying to get a good feel of how much I should be watering our garden. So I've uh, researched some things online where they say on average, at least where I'm here in the Midwest, that most of your crops need about an inch of water per week. And my wife was like, okay, what does that equate to? You know, like how much is an inch, you know? So I started, you know, looking up things as far as, you know, inches per square foot, you know, how many gallons we might need, this and that, you know, given if we're using a hose or perhaps a sprinkler system, you know, what does that mean? You know, how long should we be watering our garden? So I went ahead and built this little simple uh, calculator. Uh, I'm using Microsoft Excel, but uh, if you follow along, this is something you can also just copy down. Perhaps you use a uh, calculator, pen, pencil, notebook, just grab something and take some notes. And that way, if you're not good with spreadsheets, you'll still be able to uh, make sense of this. Uh, if you are inclined with uh, spreadsheets, uh, I'm going to include a link to this calculator um, in the uh, video description. So be sure to click on that if you actually want this calculator. What I wanna do first is um, kind of walk through here as far as titles and things go. So, um, as you can see here, how much water for garden calculator, okay? And then later I'm gonna talk about this too. I'm using a garden hose or sprinkler system, but how long do I actually water my garden, right? We're gonna talk about that too. So again, this is pretty basic math really, but uh, the reason for this video is, 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 you know, my wife and I are new to gardening. You know, we're very concerned that we baby our garden, you know, don't give it too much water, but give it enough, of course. And she said, She's like, hey, how, how much is an inch of water exactly, you know, as we uh, water our garden plots? And I'm like, you know what? Uh, I don't really know. I'm kind of just going off how the ground looks and stuff like that. You know, we have a moisture gauge that we, that we put in the ground, uh, you know, to test to see if the ground's dry, moist, wet. And then, you know, just, you know, just kind of using our eyeballs, you know. But um, I'm like, you know what? I want to get a little bit more scientific about this, you know, just to kind of get an idea. Um, I'm also going to be doing another video soon of collecting rainwater for my shed roof. So I definitely want to know some of these facts and figures so I can also do something healthy for the environment, you know, by collecting uh, rainwater as well. Uh, as you know, we live out in the country, so we're on a septic system um, and, uh, and we have a well. So I figured, you know, this is another, you know, way to also, you know, help, help our current environment as well. But um, yeah, so my so my wife asking me that question kind of is the reason why I came up with this calculator, not only just to help us, but then I thought, hey, we can help anyone else out there that might be interested in this sort of thing as well. So let's go over this one first. OK, and just a couple of housekeeping rules. Um, I have the formulas locked down in here. OK, uh, so any cell that is yellow, though, any cell that is yellow here, uh, feel free to change those inputs. Uh, as you see fit, as I walk through these. These colored cells here that are not yellow, um, these are actually calculations. So um, I'll actually have those locked down so you can't change formulas. Just, just some housekeeping rules there. So let's get into it. Uh, water per square foot of, a, of an actual garden plot. So I wanted to mention that um, you, know, you can use this for the total of all your garden plots anywhere Anywhere you, where you might have flowers, fruits, or vegetables that you're watering. Uh, this could go for the total square footage of the garden plot. Or you might have plots, uh, you know, or rows. I wanted to mention that too. Like this is kind of set up for square foot gardening. But, you know, you, you can also calculate the square foot uh, if you're doing like tr uh, traditional, um, you know, row gardening or, you know, you have raised beds or whatever. You can also come up with the square footage on those types as well and and you should be able to also use this but yes water per square foot um, of garden plot whether you're doing one garden plot or all of them put together um, and what i find in readings is is they say that one inch of water uh, is usually as far as surface area goes on square footage that's usually anywhere i've read anywhere from like 0. 0.6 to 0. 0.7 gallons of water okay so that's why i have that here so you're going to be able to change that if you want to go on the higher end, 
you can put it at right at 0.6. I think I have 0.623. I read that somewhere. So you feel free to enter anywhere from 0.6 to 0.7 gallons. Okay, so that's just going to be just a little bit over like a half a gallon of water. Um, and then I have one inch in here, as you can see. That's kind of the recommended that I've been reading about is one inch of water per week. Again, that's going to depend upon your climate, how much precipitation you get. Um, you know, you might live in an area that gets a lot of water or an area that doesn't get much. OK, but um, here in the Midwest, uh, usually about an inch of water and um, the rainfalls here, uh, we don't normally ever get more than one inch. You know, sometimes it's only maybe a half inch. So that's why I'm using the one inch calculation here you know that's something else you could change you know you might want to use 1.5 you know uh, you know maybe you want to use something close to two maybe you want to use 0 0.75 three fourths of an inch um, but one is usually a pretty good standard to use um, and then what this calculator does as well is it's going to subtract out uh, rainfall for the weeks you know so you have to factor in any natural rainfall that you got i have this currently set on zero right now um, and then you have to know your total number of, of square feet of your garden plot. So whether this, whether you're just doing this calculator, maybe let's say you got 16 square foot of spinach and you just want to use this uh, calculator for that spinach. Or if you're somebody that, that says, nope, I'm going to use pretty much the same amount of water, this one inch recommended. I'm going to use this for all my garden plots. That's kind of what I'm doing. That's great. Um, and then this total here will indeed uh, be all all the garden plots put together. Um, so as you can see here, given the calculation, it's telling me that uh, with no rainfall for the week, pretty uh, dry week for the spring, um, it's saying that I'm going to need a total estimated water in gallons for one week of around 156 gallons based upon my high square footage I have here, based upon the fact that I'm not going to have any rainfall for the week as far as estimates go. Okay. So let's let's have a little fun with this. Let's 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 uh, I want to show you how this works. So I'm going to keep my 0.6 and my one inch pretty, pretty static here. I'm not going to change these. OK, um, but let's start messing with the rainfall. So let's say that we actually did get a half inch of rainfall this week. OK, watch this 156 change. So now it's saying, hey, you got about a half inch of rainfall for the week. Um, so now you're only going to need about. 78 gallons of water right um as you can see if we got the whole inch of rain for the week then look what happens it's it's saying hey you don't need to water the garden at all this week because your rainfall for the week one inch meets your one inch of recommended water for the week so i just want to show you how the calculation flows what if maybe you had like a quarter inch for the week 0.25 it's saying you need about 117 gallons still um, uh, let's 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 play with this a little bit more just to show you guys so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back at zero let's say it's really dry no rainfall for the week but let's say uh, like I said maybe you have um, not a really big garden you know maybe you only have 50 square feet of garden let's go ahead and put that in here look at that that square footage really affects that right so this is saying, hey, we're going to use the 0.6 again based upon a recommended of one inch of rain per week, given that there's no rainfall in the week, but you're only having to worry about 50 square foot of garden plots. This is saying, hey, based on this, you only need about 31 gallons of water for the week. So as you can see, the square footage really, um, you know, makes this calculation go up and down. So I hope everyone understands this. It's pretty basic math. Just wanted to put it in a nice little spreadsheet. You all at home can easily do this outside of the spreadsheet, you know, just with a pen, paper, and a calculator, okay? So let's go ahead and come down here uh, on this calculator here. I'm using a garden hose or sprinkler system. How long do I water my garden? I put a little note here that, you know, everybody's water pressure differs a little bit. You know, maybe you live in the city, I'm out in the country, that sort of thing, okay? Every, everyone's water pressure coming from a hose or system differs. So instead, we will measure length of time. I thought this was an easy way to figure this universally for everybody, okay? So what this is doing here, total estimated water in one gallon for the week, that's dropping in automatically for you, okay? Based upon your yellow inputs here and 
your calc here. That's just dropping straight down. So there's nothing for you to do right here, okay? Nothing for you to do. The only thing you need to do is fill out this yellow cell right here as part of the calculator. Length of time in seconds to fill water into a one-gallon container. So basically, go get a one-gallon container. You know, could be a gallon of empty milk, an empty milk container. Just anything that's one gallon. And, you know, using your uh, water system, whether that, you know, be a hose or a sprinkler system, whatever you do, measure the amount of time uh, that it takes for you to fill that water into one gallon. So a hypothetical uh, situation, I put 15 seconds that it would take me for me to fill a one gallon container full of water. OK, 15 seconds, as you can see there. And then again, this drops down automatically from up here, as I said before. And then this is a calculation here, okay? This is all being calculated for you. So what this is telling me is total estimated time to water all my garden plots would be about eight minutes, okay? Again, that's saying based on a need of about 31 gallons of water for this week in this scenario right here. And given that it takes this individual around 15 seconds, to fill water into a one gallon container. This is saying that it's probably gonna take them maybe around eight minutes estimated time to water all their garden plots. So, um, you know, this is something else that my wife asked me about, as I said before, the same thing with how much water for the garden calculator. Well, she was always, she also asked me, well then, you know, how, do, how does that equate to how long I'm supposed to water my garden, you know? And uh, we haven't quite bought a sprinkler uh, for our garden yet. So we're doing just a manual hose. And so for her, I said, OK, you know what? Go ahead, get a gallon container and tell me how long it takes you time yourself. Um, and that's how we're getting to this ultimate number here. So basically what that's saying is, is, you know, as you walk around the garden, kind of keep the eight minute mark um, in your head, you know. So, for instance, Let's say you got four garden plots, right? Uh, this is saying a total of around eight minutes. You basically want to maybe water around two minutes per plot, right? That's basically what that's saying. So there we have it. A uh, nice little calculation for how much uh, water that your garden might need. And then another calculation on, you know, if you're using a g garden hose or perhaps a sprinkler, how long does that system of yours, whatever it is, how long does that take to fill up one gallon? Um, of water and then that's all you need to do uh, so you'll be able to come up with a estimated uh, water in gallons for the week uh, based upon either no rainfall or rainfall and then you're going to get a pretty good estimate of how much time it's going to take you in total to uh, water all your plots so everybody thanks for tuning in today um, i know this video was a little bit different today a little out of the ordinary but i thought this could be of value to certain uh, individuals out there so i hope you guys enjoyed this one today so if this is your first time to the channel uh, think about subscribing if you like the video today please give us that thumbs up uh, feel free to leave any comments as usual and we'll talk to you guys next week <music>